Okay, next is question number 61. Which of the following are some important benefits of flex fuel vehicles? First statement says reduced use of polluting fossil fuels. Second statement says can use different blends of ethanol mixed petrol. And third statement cuts down harmful emissions. You have to select the correct answer using the code given below. 1 only, 2 and 3 only, 1 and 3 only, 1, 2 and 3. Now with regard to this particular question that is flex fuel vehicles. See from the term itself it is clear it is flex flexible okay flexible that is how you can decipher from the term certain things you can decipher it from the terms itself so here it is flexible okay flexible fuel vehicle so it is actually this uh, flexible fuel vehicles it is actually a, a modified version of vehicle where um, it can run on both gasoline as well as uh, doped petrol with uh, different amounts of uh, blended ethanol okay so here um, it can use different blends of ethanol mixed petrol that is uh, we can say it is a flex fuel vehicle or dual fuel vehicle as is we can say and uh, it reduce yes one important um, major uh, benefit associated with this particular flexible fuel vehicles is that they reduce uh, the use of polluting fossil fuels okay they use reduce the use of polluting fossil fuels which means it can cuts down uh, it can cut down the harmful emissions see you just see statement 1 and statement 3 statement 1 says reduce the use of polluting fossil fuels so see if there is reduced use of uh, polluting uh, fuel then definitely there will be reduced harmful emission right so if one is there definitely 3 should also be there in your answer okay here it is asking about a possible benefit also about a, um, a fuel or about a type of modified vehicle so here since it is asking about flexible fuel and if you can figure out it is using yes it is flexible okay so it can actually use different blends of ethanol mixed petrol so it is actually going for a, a better cleaner version of energy than the polluting fossil fuel. So, definitely if it is uh, reducing the use of fossil fuel which is polluting in nature then definitely the harmful emissions will also get reduced. Okay. So, if one is there definitely three will also be there. Okay. So, in such a manner you can actually eliminate option A and option B remaining is C and D and two is also right that is the feature of um, flex fuel vehicles. It can use different blends of uh, ethanol mixed petrol. So, that is also there in your answer. So, D is your answer that is 1, 2 and 3. So, if you can decipher it from the uh, term then it is very easy for you to link or connect things. Okay. So, that it is very important for you uh, to try out these things in your mock test itself. Then only you can actually um, do it in a more professional manner while you go for your the final exam okay so here from the term flex fuel vehicles if you can decipher it is flexible then you can directly reach that second statement here it is right so if second statement is right you can eliminate a and you can eliminate c here it is asking about what the benefits so definitely this particular will uh, particular vehicle will have some sort of benefits and reducing the use of polluting fuel yes that is a right statement when we look the second one so if one is there definitely automatically three will also be there in your answer so you can reach the answer that is d 61 d is your answer question number 62 see this particular question is important from the protected areas part it is important it says which of the following national parks is surrounded by three rivers Baitharni, brahmini and damre Bitar Ganiga National Park, Kibul Namjao National Park, Kiolado Ghana National Park, Sultanpur National Park. So, here it is asking about the national park which is surrounded by these three rivers. So, when you study about national parks, wildlife sanctuaries or uh, biosphere reserves, mainly the protected areas part when you study it is very very important for you to look uh, on which river basin this particular protected area is lying. Okay. If you have a closer watch at the previous year questions, you can see that many a time such questions have been repeated like this particular wildlife sanctuary is present in um, present on the banks of which river or this biosphere reserve is present in the banks of which river national park likewise many questions have been asked. Okay, So, it is very important for you uh, to know like this particular um, 
protected area it is uh, which all rivers are flowing through this particular protected area that is all very very important the important species coming in protected areas uh, their locations if it is biosphere reserves which all are the uh, national parks or tiger reserves or wildlife sanctuaries coming under the biosphere reserves all these things are very very important now here it is asking about three rivers baidarni brahmini and dharme uh, thamare so, okay so uh, which is the national park which is being surrounded by all these three rivers okay so it is mainly uh, the bitarganiga national park here it is the answer 62 answer is a so the uh, bitarganiga national park it is actually we know it is the second largest uh, mangrove forest after sundarbans in west bengal so uh, here the main uh, species as estuarine crocodile you can see in bitarganiga national park so uh, it is mainly surrounded by three rivers that is baitarni brahmani and thamare okay so a is your answer bitarganiga national park is your answer it is also a designated ramsar site